how to make a shirt in roblox so let's get started firstly create roblox account and opt in roblox to start off we are going to need a roblox account and at least a little bit of robux you can buy robux with real money or you can earn it by playing games on roblox basically if you want to buy something on roblox you need robux so now Kids won't need a ton of Robux to get started here, but they are going to want at least 10 just to upload to servers. More on this bit to come, but it is a worth a mention before you get going. First, let's log into a Roblox account and then on the left hand side menu, click on Avatar. Avatar is where they will create their own Roblox avatar, but it's also where they are going to finding the create template so that they can make the file they are looking for. Now, by clicking on clothing along the top row and then shirts, that's where we are going to be getting our template from. On the right hand side, there should be a button that says create. Let's click that button which is going to bring up the option to create a shirt. Now, before going further, let's talk about the different kinds of shirts. In Roblox, you can choose between two different types. T-shirts can only have an image and as a solid color behind it. Thus, it's rather limited in terms of what kids can actually create. With the standard shirt, though creators can do pretty much whatever they want with in terms of design, logo and colors. Thus, the standard shirt is typically more appealing to people who are looking to buy clothing in Roblox. Now, simply back on the create a shirt screen, you are going to see a message that says, do you see the template? If not, download it here. Click download it here and there will be this image as shown above, which is the Roblox shirt template. Open first glance, this is going to look pretty confusing, so let's break it down. First, the different colors, green, red, yellow, orange, blue, etc. represent the different aspects of the Roblox character body. So the front of the torso is red, up is basically the top or shoulder area, left and right is the inside portion of the torso and back is well the back. The bottom is the bottom portion that is not really seen unless the Roblox character is running and moving around. On the bottom half of that template you are going to see additional T shapes for both the right and left arms which again will follow the color pattern of red being front etc. Now to download and update the template you can do so with Photoshop. Right click on the image and then click save image as and then save anywhere you'd like. Next open up Photoshop and the file that was just downloaded and then update it the template to your designer hearts content. Your shirt graphic or design can take many forms to XDO, business suit, blouse, winter coat or something else. To save go to file and then save. For creators to get their file back into Roblox, go back to the website and locate the green upload for 10 Robux button. They won't click it yet, but just make sure they are on the screen where you can see that option. And as mentioned, 10 Robux isn't a ton of money and works out to be an inexpensive $0.13 give or take. Then choose file and select the template they just made and saved. You will see the short name filled and kids can name the short whatever they want. When ready, click that upload button and then again to confirm would you like to upload your shirt for 10 Robux. Once done, there will be an icon and the name of the shirt under shirts. You will also notice that the image for the shirt is simply a piece of paper with a dotted outline. This means that the shirt is currently under review by Roblox just to make sure it is appropriate and able to be posted. This might take a couple of hours for approval. Now, kids can now open Roblox Studio by clicking the create at the top navigation bar. Then they can click start creating and finally base plate to head to a blank screen. Once that page loads, go to plugins in the main navigation menu. From there, click build rig, which will basically insert a dummy character to throw clothing on as if someone was really playing. Choose R15 or R6, which is whatever type of model kids want to use. For now, let's click R15 and then block rig. Now the dummy Roblox character is showing on the screen. Kids should then click the plus sign in the explorer window next to dummy. Here they will then look for clothing and in the left hand inventory they can right click on the shirt, click copy asset ID and then paste the ID right next to the shirt template in the appearance section. Once they press enter the shirt will show up on the Roblox dummy model. 
So that is it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.